Hello and welcome to You Have Control. Today's exercise in which we will be looking at is exercise 10b, stalling and spin avoidance. The aim of this exercise is to recognise and recover from a fully developed stall from various modes of flight, straight and turning, with minimum height loss. So let's begin. And we are going to first look at the indications of a stool. Now, different to slow flight, when we are in a stool, the stick is not only all the way back, but the nose will be dropping at the same time. With the stick fully back, you could be losing height, and there is a chance that a possible wing drop may occur. Theoretically, you can stall at any speed, it is all down to the angle of attack. There are some factors which can affect a stall. These can be whether you have the flaps extended or retracted, your power setting can alter your stall speed, the weight of your aircraft may impact the speed at which the aircraft will stall, the g-forces on the aircraft, load factor is another effect, as well as possible icing or wing contamination, causing the airflow to break up before it technically should. So now we are going to look at the stool recovery. Once you have got yourself into a stool, we are going to practice two main stool recoveries, which will be the stick only recovery and the standard stool recovery, where losing as little height as possible is the aim. We are going to get ourselves into slow flight, and then from slow flight we are going to continuously pull the stick back and continuously reduce the power. When we start to see the symptoms of a stool, we will then recover. With stick only recovery, the clue is in the name. You will not touch the power except you will release the back pressure letting the nose drop. Once our wing is flying again, we will ease out of the dive. Now it's always important in these exercises to climb away from your mistakes. So once you have performed your stool recovery, enter a gentle climb. The second stool recovery, which is our standard stool recovery, we're going to release the back pressure on the stick and use full power to lose as little height as possible. Make sure to maintain balance all throughout the stool recovery. As we approach the stool, make sure to only use your rudder to keep the wings level and to keep the aircraft in balance. The reason for this is at a slow speed as we are approaching the stool, if you are using the ailerons, you will increase the angle of attack on one wing past the critical angle of attack, causing that wing to drop. You may enter a spin, and if you get yourself into a spin, you will have to follow this recovery. Pair. Power to idle. Ailerons to the neutral position. Rudder in the opposite direction to the spin. And the elevator forward. We will not be practicing a spin in this exercise as the aircraft we are flying, microlites, are not allowed to do aerobatics. When it comes to airmanship, it is extremely important that we perform a hassle check before every stool that we do. Your instructor will usually get you to stool with flaps and in a turn simulating that turn from base to final. We're not going to perform this exercise near to the ground and once again do not use your ailerons as we are approaching our stool. The next exercise will be exercise 12, because exercise 11 doesn't exist. Thank you very much for watching this video, please like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Fly safe.